Why are you the Seattle Mavericks? That's where you're wrong. Yeah, she didn't change anything. The Raptors look to take charge, and we're bringing it to you live from Toronto here on 2K Sports. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. Looking at Toronto, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Nets. The shot comes out, so the Raptors will take it the other way. Inside. Here's Duncan. Rebound by Yao. It's stolen by Duncan. Durant for three. Here's Mobley. Goes back up. And Mobley throws it down. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Greg, I think it's going to be a battle of the boards, a battle of rebounding. And you know what that's like. You played alongside some great rebounders. Well, you know, Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley. I mean, those guys got after it as well as anybody who's ever played. And so it's Wall. He brings it up for Toronto. And Duncan throws it down hard. Uh, John Wall has an incredibly high basketball IQ. So you find the shooter and get it into their hands. Duncan trying to break loose. A nice shot by Katie. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy. Whoa, that, was wow. a strong dunk. that is nice. As great as he is as a scorer, what we know unequivocally about Stephen Curry is he wants to find his teammates. Pass to Duncan. And it's sent back by Nowitzki. Right wing. Thompson for the triple. And it's Toronto with the rebound. It's Wall with the drop. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Yeah, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. The ability to adjust quickly allows Stephen Curry to do work on the interior. To the paint. Duncan gets it to go in. Duncan's got his second bucket of the night. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. That one falls. Now the length 
that's a problem, right? Kevin Durant on the drive, hard to stop. Pass to Mobley. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And now we'll get a perspective here on the hustle game. How it's been going for the Raptors. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. Yeah, and I think the other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've gotten off turnovers. And it's the Raptors ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run right now. And Katie is right there. There's Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. Well, there's evidence all over the floor of how well Stephen Curry runs this team. He does a good job keeping them at their pace and making all the right decisions. Substitution for your Raptors. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Here is Rose. Pass to George. Going inside. And George gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. I had a chance to talk with head coach Nick Nurse. I asked him what the focus was coming into the game tonight. He said the one word, the rebound. If they can hit the glass with a purpose every time down the floor, he thinks they're in a good position to win. Kevin, back to you. Thanks, David. And that speaks close to your heart, doesn't it? You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Here's Rose. Rejected by Nowitzki. Such a great anticipation from Dirk playing his cards right on the defensive end comes through with the rejection. Here's Rose. Trying to get open is Randall. And again, no good by Toronto. And Kevin, everybody's dissected Luka's offensive game, trying to find that weakness. And I'm just here to tell you, I don't think he has any. And there's a minute 45 left in the first quarter. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Raptors leading by six. And the play of Doncic drawing comparisons to so many all-time greats. But Greg, the one that stood out to me, they said he's a combination of Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. What do you think? And it just makes sense. With his passing and shooting, you throw in the step-back game of James Harden, you start to see why he has become such a problem for this league. Pass to George. Over Nowitzki. Here's Randall. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Well, defense is smart to get close to Randall, but he powers through it anyway. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Rose. And he's fouled pretty hard on that <laughs> shot. Just ran into the fans for no reason. Got the points at the line. It's on Yao Ming. First team foul. This is his first chance at the line tonight. At the line. And going back to his numbers from just a season ago, he was knocking it down at a 77% clip. Well, an interesting thing about Derrick Rose, right? Over his career, he's been an up-and-down jump shooter, but he's been remarkably consistent from the free-throw line. Stephen, count that one. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Here's Randall. Raptors get it back. A shot by Carter. Nobody around. Good on the triple. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage. Kevin. And Step yes, it's good. Curry. Curry's got six. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. That one goes in. That is vintage Derrick Rose, right? Get separation off the dribble and finish the move. Nice. 
I'm sure he's kicking himself. He hates to blow that kind of opportunity. Here's Daniel. That one falls coming off Carter's feet. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. This guy is a poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Oh, we've seen some great shots in the first quarter. No shortage of offense. Raptors lead by five. And the second quarter will get up. Ladies and gentlemen, your north side. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And guys, what's your take on Toronto so far? Well, you, you come in thinking they're going to settle for perimeter jump shots. Think again. Uh, they've certainly made the commitment to pounding the basketball into the painted area, and boy, is it paying dividends. No good from Durant. And it doesn't even matter that he's surrounded on that possession. He's got the size to pull those boards Thompson. down anyway. Uh, Clay Thompson, you can't let him get cooking from three, boy. This guy's too accurate as a shooter. Barnes outside. Shoots. KD's shot is off. And so Curry will bring it up for the Mavericks. Trailing by two. Moving on from this game, they're scheduled to take on the Lakers at the Staples Center. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Pass to Barnes. Here's Duncan. Shakes him. And Duncan throws it down. Yeah, and at 7-1, Duncan is a problem in the paint. Outstanding with his extension there. and Just hammering it home. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Here's Duncan. Banked in off the glass. Duncan's got eight. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. And it's blocked. And he's able to get it back. Outside Curry. Five to shoot. Seattle needs to get off a shot. Oh, come on. And again, Seattle with the triple. The teams often try to slow down point guards with bigger defenders. But, Greg, you locked up without that edge. How'd you do it? A uh, little athleticism, Kevin, and a lot of desire. Kept alive. Outside Durant. Past the wall. No good. Not a friendly rim at all this trip down. Down low. Nifty move. It's deflected. The three from KD. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Barnes has got the game tied up here for Toronto. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Pascal Siakam was the most improved player in 2019. He says, I love that I cannot be able to do something, but if I put in a lot of hours doing it, I can become good at it. The former 27th pick overall said, not to sound arrogant, but I saw this coming. Right? <clears throat> he bet on himself. He did. He was smart. He certainly put in the work. DA, thank you. Well, your job as a floor leader is to keep everyone in sync and the offense humming. And John Wall doing it right there. Yeah, he, there was definitely some contact there on the three-point First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Well, the big German, as he is affectionately known, Nowitzki, the 2011 NBA champion, will go down as one of the best shooters ever. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability 
to deliver at the free throw line. Here's Daniel. Got a hand on it. And George Walker gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second so both teams making some changes here. Checking in for the away team. Toronto on defense. They've led by as much as 10. Domingo with it. And it's sent back by Carter. George with the ball. Domingo picks him up. And pushing it up. Here's Seattle. Bridges, no one around him. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. To the inside. Here's George. Now in the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Here's Curry. Second shot opportunity. Good. Stephen Curry. Curry's got 13 points. Well, Stephen Curry is not known as an offensive rebounder, but an opportunistic moment right there. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. One sixteen left in the first half. It's stolen by Kaminga. A miss that time would have put him up. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. Carter for three. He can't get that one to fall. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. Yao inside. And that one's good. In second basket of four, shooting 50%. And you got to appreciate the skill set Ming brings to the table. Knows no one can match up against him and simply lofting these inside shots up and in. Makes it off the glass. And it's a three point Maverick lead. Well, just tremendous composure on the interior. Read the defense, take advantage of the situation, and deliver. Pass to George. Mullen with the ball. Connects on the 17 footer. And love watching Mullen shoot the ball. A, a terrific score, especially from the mid range. Here's Butler. And the layup is good. Butler's got the lead up to three now for the man. Just three on the clock. Got a piece of it. Derek Rose has the slowest layups. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Like all of his layups take way too many time. It's like Derek Rose has the slowest layups. Like you can send two and three people and at him while he's just gathering. Quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. It's a close game here in Toronto. Next up in the docket, the Bucks following this one. And that's the third of four straight played at home. Pass to George. Now Barn. Shot clock at five. To the middle. Rebound Come on, him. man. Oh, no excuse for a guy of his caliber. You've got to finish that slam. Got to be a little embarrassed by that and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. And what you get with Barnes, Greg, tremendous versatility. And he gets others involved, Kevin. Plays great defense. Has an excellent feel for the games. He doesn't have to <laughs> to impact winning. But if you need points from him, that's his young first, fella first can provide foul. that as well. First team foul. It'll be a Raptors title. Ladies and gentlemen, your north side. Boom. Get your hand, man. Your north.
down to Thompson. Inside. Here's Yao. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's his second. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Both shots good from the strike. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. A chance here to get a quick injury report. And let's get an update on Jonathan Kaminga's injury. David, any news? Hi, guys. The head athletic trainer for Seattle will let me know the status. He said that it's a strained groin muscle. They're going to ice it and try and reduce the inflammation. You can pull that thing up there. the way you want to lead off. But they have no choice. They still have to play the games. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Appreciate the update. Never like to see any kind of injury break. Yeah, it's one of the toughest parts of the game because you have little to no control over it. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. Bridges outside. Back to Yao. And he banks in the lane. Yao's got 10 points. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges, so willing to give it up to an open guy. Pass to Barnes. Here's Mobley. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Yao Ming. And a guy who routinely outworks people. His team feeds off his energy. Well, Pascal Siakam is a guy described by his coach as a speed player. We know the pressure he puts on teams in transition. He's willing to mix it up physically and sacrifice his body in the post. And this guy will leave it all out on the floor. What a ceiling for Pascal Siakam. No one near the wall as he lets it go. Hangs home the trifecta. Walsh got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Raptors. Curry shot is off. Raptors trailed by four. Walls shot is off. Now here's Curry. He's got 16. Durant with the steal. A three ball. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Now just a one point Seattle lead. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Duncan. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. Drills it from outside. Three. Bridges got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Well, in catch and shoot opportunities, you've got to have good feet and pre shot preparation. Mikhail Bridges, yes, sir. KD's shot is good. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. Pass to Yao. Back to Curry. From downtown, Barnes grabs the miss. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. For the lead. And again, Toronto with the triple. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck-and-neck -neck game. Both teams getting it done defensively as evidenced by the eight lead changes thus far. They get it back. That's part of his game. Love seeing Duncan just sky up there to reject shots. He does a great job of utilizing that wingspan along with his timing. And that's out of bounds. Seattle will take possession. Out of bounds. The ball goes to the away team. Coming on the floor for the away team. 153 left to play here in the third. Here's Curry. It's hauled in by the Raptors. They've led by as much as 10. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Duncan. Tim Duncan. And good that time. 
And now a four-point Raptor lead. And Duncan just superb when he gets in close to the basket. He has a number of moves to choose from. And that that soft, delicate touch near the rim. And it's the Raptors' ball. They're on a 19-7 run. One twelve left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Durant. To the inside. Stolen by Thompson. Novitsky for three. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Seattle trails by four. Here's Curry. Takes it inside. Launches it. Sinks the triple. That was a tough, tough, tough Curry's shot. Got 19 points. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. Outside for KD. Wants to get it to Duncan and does. I'll tell you this. Kevin Durant is an underrated passer, and he has really shown a new level where that's concerned. All right, fans, get on your feet and make some noise for teacher time. Call time here. And no doubt, Coach wants them to shore up their interior defense. Well, I think right now they're giving up way too many easy looks. That is a recipe for disaster. The Mavericks call time here. We've seen Kevin Durant really having a great game. He's just really a one-man wrecking crew down low. And with this timeout, they've got to make some adjustments because he's been steady inside. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for Seattle. It's a three-point game. It's Curry outside. Tim Duncan with the rebound. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Nowitzki in the post. And the game still closely contested as we end the third quarter. Raptors lead by three. <laughs> Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Now Curry. Pass to Yao. Rebound by the Raptors. They've led by as much as ten. High arcing shot, and it's sent back by Nowitzki. Barnes bounce pass. Here's Duncan. Misses off the left iron. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Here's Yao. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Oh, the officials are all over that one. And let's get your take, guys, in the hustle stance for Toronto. 
they really haven't backed away from running and gunning at any point. But their legs still look fresh. Yeah, and I think something they've also worked hard at tonight is crashing the boards. The second chance points have been coming in bunches. Pass to Barnes. And again, Toronto no luck. On the wing, Thompson. Back to Curry. To take the lead. Oh, come on. Almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Perhaps the last guy in the history of the NBA that you want to put at the free throw line. Stephen Curry will go down as one of the all-time great free throw shooters. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Outside Durant. Pass to Duncan. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikael Bridges. Michael Bridges. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. KD with the bucket. It's this kind of consistency, guys, as a scorer that always has Kevin Durant in the MVP conversation. I don't know if he's just forcing things, but after one miss in the first half, he's been a mistake waiting to happen since. That's his second personal Here's Wall. First team down. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Pass to KD. And the Raptors hit again from deep. How about the percentage? They're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half. Now Yao. Duncan with the block. Taking his time here. Barnes outside. The kick out to Wall. From outside, off the mark. I tell you, this has not been his game. He's making it worse with shot selection like that. Well, coaches might discourage that kind of look, but he'll take it anyway. Pass to Durant. And that's collected by Nowitzki. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Trailing by two. Outside curve. Down low. Yao. And Yao slams it in. Boy, doesn't get any easier than that. What a size advantage and just goes to work. Pass to Duncan. It's tipped. Yo, come on. Such a strong defensive player. Bridges understands that size and quickness. Rejection, yes, sir. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Third team foul. It'll be a back there, Ken. There, so that was set to get three teasers. Let's see. Who's the And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldrich. Hey guys, during the last time out, I listened to Nick Nurse talk to his team. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack, but he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it. You've got me. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. Stephen. Hey, you want him taking big shots for you in big moments? That one was as easy as it gets. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. You get the sense this guy relishes getting to the free throw line in these tough moments. You talk about clutch, this guy is it. Two minutes remaining. Curry attacking. Pass to Yap. Looks good, is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. Boy, right down to the wire here. Still anyone's ball game. Yeah, and after all the energy both sides have expended, both teams still hungry for the win. Outside, Katie. 
That's good. And so Wall with the assist. Durant got 21 in the game. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. To the paint. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. A passion may be the most overlooked aspect of Kevin Durant's game, but you know he wants his teammates to feel good. And that tacks another big point onto the lead. Great and one play showing us now a little bit of that killer instinct. Stolen by Durant. From the arc. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. And he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Outside wall. Pass to Mobley. That one goes. Count it. And the Raptors lead by eight. With the assist. Looking to close it out. That one might have been the backbreaker. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Here's Barnes. The second effort. Down low. Stolen by Thompson. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. Well, it's been a hard-fought battle Curry. through much of the night. They just Curry. missed out on a couple of opportunities they'd love to do over. Five. And he commits the intentional foul. That's his third personal foul. Fourth team foul. He hits the first one, and that increases their lead to six. When John Wall has been healthy, this guy has been a consistently solid force with his speed and ability to get downhill. Really incredible awareness. Curry outside. Toronto grabs the miss. They've led by as much as 10. Outside Durant. From deep. No good. You have to admire the activity of Clay Thompson on the defensive end. It seems like he makes it his mission to make life difficult for whoever he's checking. And so it's the Raptors winning this one. Probably. Boys did it. Well, I mean, uh, you know, the he's living a dangerous lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And he got hurt going up for that dunk. But I was I was happy with the others. I mean, Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant definitely had a great game. Six for nine for three. Um, so, but beyond that, you had um, Scotty Barnes had two big blocks. Uh, John Wall had eight and nine assists. And uh, Tim Duncan and Evan Mobley, 15 and, eight, 15 and 8 apiece, but Duncan had 6 blocks. Evan Mobley, Evan Mobley was 6 for 7 for the field. Yeah, Dirk didn't score in the second half. Dirk and Clay didn't score in the second half at all. Yo, like you greenlit some like crazy closeout ones. I was like, wow. I'm just happy that uh yeah, that one worked out. And boys actually wanted to finish in the paint today, which was a welcome surprise.
All right, later.